Hey everyone, Jack Lawson here, founder of the Digital Real Estate Academy and realestatemessengerbot.com. In this video, I'm gonna be covering the new campaign objective updates that Facebook has done inside of the Ads Manager account. So they've changed a couple things inside of the ad account, and I'm just gonna cover what you wanna select and what your options are at this point. So let's go ahead and dive in. All right, if you pull up your uh, Ads Manager campaigns and you select a new, create a new campaign, this is what you're going to see now, and this is you know a couple weeks old now, but uh, basically they've changed their options a little bit. So what I teach mostly is using a chatbot to capture leads and, and qualify those leads automatically. Um, so with that, you mainly use a uh, messenger objective. So there's not a messenger specific objective anymore. Uh, so there's a couple different options that are available, and I'll cover all the campaign objectives besides the messenger one as well. Um, but they do have an option or a button up here to find your objective. So if you are, you know, select something that you've used before, it'll show you what the options are now. So if you scroll down, you'll see that there was messages and that's what uh, I've taught a lot. But now when you select it there, um, basically the new option is engagement uh, leads or sales. So uh, basically for a chatbot sp specifically, they're all gonna go into Messenger. They're all creating these, uh, this, this database or uh, the interacting, interacting with people who interact with Messenger. Um, what you wanna do, depending on your, your goal for Messenger specifically, if you have a chatbot installed, like the real estate bot, we would use engagement because we're going to engage, we want, uh, leads to engage with messenger. So that's the objective right there. Uh, so they would object the, the engagement would, um, be useful for other ones as well, but for messenger specifically, we want them to engage with messenger. And the difference with that and lead specifically is that it will open up. Basically, if you select leads, it'll open up, you can do messenger, but uh, it's going to be limited to what Facebook can build inside their small little conversation chatbot that they can create. It's not exten as extensive as using a program like Minichat, essentially. Um, so you can send leads, uh, send uh, leads to Messenger and use the leads option and create a small little option, but you're not building a database. You're not, um, it's, it's limited options in terms of capturing their data, data and, and their information, and all that stuff. Uh, and the other one for sales, is uh, real estate related. We're not selling anything online, like an e-commerce store or anything. Um, so we're not creating sales and processing sales online. We're, we're pretty much just generating leads. So uh, for, again, for using mini chat and um, getting messenger, you would use engagement. The difference with uh, the other campaign objectives um, a lot of people want to use traffic. They want to generate these leads. They want to do other things. Um, and, and I'm just going to point out a couple benefits of using uh, engagement and sending people in the messenger. Uh, one is for, let's start with awareness. So if you're running an awareness ad, basically you're just trying to get your face out there. Think of it like a billboard. And I'm not saying any of these are wrong. I just want to explain the difference um, and, and what, what kind of outcome you're going to expect for these uh, um, objectives. So awareness is think of uh, a billboard. Basically, all you're paying for is for people to see your stuff. Again, that's great. But if your objective is to capture a lead, it's not going to be your best selection. There is a time and place for using awareness for getting your face out there. But if you're a newer agent or if you're counting your next check and you you don't know, you know when your next closing is going to happen and your in your business is kind of up and down, awareness is not going to be the one that you want to go with at first. You you want to generate leads, you want to get a database, you want to build that consistent business before just kind of promoting your um, self out there. Uh, traffic, it's great if you're going to send leads to your website, uh, but website compared to mini chat and messenger and the chatbot, um, the difference being that uh, 
it's harder to capture leads on a website. There's less people clicking into, there, there's a lot of clicks onto your website. There's not a lot of like your, your website isn't optimized to capture leads. At least most, most websites aren't most real estate websites aren't, they're not optimized to capture leads onto a website. So this is going to, um, optimize for clicks basically into your website. So a lot of people are going to click it, It's sending it to people who click, click, click. Okay. It doesn't send it to people who fill out their information and then interact with your business. Um, so again, that is another useful, um, campaign objective. It's just not the best one in my opinion, depending on where you're at in your business. Again, I just covered, uh, engagement. You want them to engage with messenger. Um, there's other, um, things that, that you can engage them with video views, post engagement com conversations, or, uh, I guess video views and post engagement specifically is kind of, uh, along the lines of awareness. It's got getting a lot of people to view your videos, to interact with your posts, which again is not, not saying that's the wrong thing to do. Just aware, be aware that that's not specific for generating a lead. It has its time and place. Um, but not if your main goal is to get business as quickly as possible. Leads is going to be um, the main thing I think is for getting forms filled out and phone calls, which a lot of people, a lot of agents like to do. I, again, I want to point out the difference of um, collecting someone's uh, email and phone number who just likes to fill out a form as opposed to capturing them as a subscriber in Messenger who also gives their phone number and email. Um, messenger database inside of mini chat and having those subscribers is, is super powerful. Uh, again, just the benefit of, of using mini chat messenger and capturing leads in there over just filling out a form. Um, the, the, the follow-up is better. The ability to use Omni marketing to follow up with them on multiple locations, uh, is, is awesome as well. Uh, at promotion. Um, if you have a real estate app, I guess you could use this one. Not, I don't see a lot of agents using app promotion, uh, and then sales again, that's, you know, if you're selling something online, which agents are not selling online, they're generating leads online and conversations online. Um, so those are the new campaign objectives. Um, uh, I'm going to real quick show you the, the setup, uh, of connecting it into messenger. Cause again, that's, that's what I teach mostly, uh, is, is mini chat and, and using the chatbot inside of there. So with that new setup, we're going to select that engagement. I'm just going to run through a quick ad for you. Uh, special ad categories. We're going to select housing. If you're in the U S select U S Canada, Canada. Um, so we're going to go and select your daily budget. So here is the messaging app. So we want to send them to the messaging app. We don't want to get them, you know, interact on on the wet on the ad or a website an app facebook page we want to send them to the messaging app and the ad type is click to message as opposed to sponsored message uh, sponsored message is um, going to be interacting with people that are inside of your database already as a messenger so anybody who's already become a subscriber in mini chat or interacted with your page and sent you a message you can send them a sponsored message down the road um, but we want to get new leads in with the click to message. And then, um, for the, uh, for the Facebook page, you obviously want to select your, your Facebook page that you're sending those leads into, and you're capturing that information. Um, and then also with, uh, the messaging apps, keep in mind that you can use Instagram as well. It's not just Facebook. Uh, you can use Instagram, even with mini chat, you can connect your Instagram account to your mini chat account and have a chat bot inside of um, Instagram as well. So people on Instagram are not being sent over to Messenger anymore. They're interacting inside of uh, Instagram, the messaging app inside of Instagram and and still able to interact with the chat bot uh, through mini chat. So having both of those selected um, is 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 beneficial for that. Uh, the next thing down here, um, you know, select your location, the age and gender. Uh, you can't really uh, change with the special ad category. Uh, detail targeting. You can target your uh, real estate leads by Zillow. Uh, people interested in Zillow, Trulia, first time home buyer, all that stuff is available. 
uh, depending on your market, depending on the size, sometimes you want to split test that. I always recommend split testing your ads um, just because you think, you know, people interested in what Facebook believes people interested in Zillow are uh, doesn't necessarily make them the best lead. It, it obviously can be beneficial, but it is something you want to um, check down the road or split test. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is that as a as a real estate um, agent, your your job is to interact with or build a relationship with as many people as possible. Just because they're not buying a home right now, not looking at Zillow right now, doesn't mean uh, you don't want to build that relationship with them. So if you're in the you know in business for the long term, um, I usually leave detail targeting open just because I'm trying to build a relationship with everybody. And I want everybody in my database. I don't I'm not going to uh, you know limit that I'm going I'm looking for the long term business and, and the long term strategy. Um, and again, with with Messenger, you're going to create your ad. I'm not walking through an ad right here. But uh, the message template is where you make that connection um, inside of mini chat or creating your own uh, chat inside of Facebook. If you don't have mini chat, uh, again, mini chat is way superior than what uh, um, Facebook's options are. Um, I'm not going to go through the exact setup, but those are the options. Basically, starting the conversation, um, you know, you can have these preempted questions. If you don't have a chatbot set up connected to it, then um, it, it only goes so far as starting a conversation and you have to personally respond to these messages. If you do have a chatbot set up, you can basically set this up to um, trigger a conversation. Uh, and I have other videos on this channel walking you through that. Um, also, on realestatemessengerbot.com, we have template, we have everything you need to um, plug and play this stuff into your system so that you can build a database and, and generate those leads from um, Messenger at, in there. So that's basically the new campaigns. That's, uh, you know, the Messenger, how you're setting it up on Messenger, the benefits of using um, Messenger or engagement over traffic or awareness or anything like that. Um, there's just a lot of different benefits that will uh, uh, help you in, in generating better leads, a better database, and um, ultimately growing your business in, in real estate. So if you guys uh, like this video, uh, have any questions, comment below, um, like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.